Hi you guys, this is Rachel Kirkland here, the Modern Shaman. Thanks for being with me for another YouTube video of the week. If you're new to the channel, then I'm glad you're here. I would love for you to visit my website, which is themodernshaman.net. It has all things spiritual. Really anything, if you're drawn to this type of content, there's a lot of um, resources there for you. My one-on-one -on -one sessions for healing as well as psychic seership, mediumship, past life, future probabilities, uh, connecting with your guides and channeling information, as well as the shamanic healings, soul retrievals, intense um, trauma clearing, all of that is there on the website. So that's at themodernshaman.net. I hope you check it out. Um, also, I don't say this enough, but you guys, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> this channel's been going on for a long time and it, it's been going on longer than that subscribe button. You know, it was there and then there was like, now there's the little notification bell and now it's like, the videos just keep up leveling and I don't keep up very well. So it's all available now. But if you want to keep getting these videos and getting notifications of when they pop up, subscribe, get notified, all that jazz. I would love to have you be part of our community. The energy just builds and it creates a sense of positive um, charge on the planet. When we think of negative versus positive, light versus dark, it just keeps that positive charge growing. So I love those types of communities. And this is one of them. All right, here's the question of today. It says, hi, Rachel, I love your channel. Thanks so much for all that you share. That makes me happy. Thanks for saying that. Um, I just always appreciate those kind of things, so I do take them to heart. Thank you. Okay, it says, what is the difference between collective clearings of energies and my individual clearing? I feel like I process things the same way and I can't tell if what I'm going through is for myself or for others. Hmm. So, good question. Um, let's see. If you're highly clairsentient, this comes up a lot. Especially if you're empathic and a highly sensitive person. An HSP, as they call them in the psychological community. Um, okay, so see where I want to go with this. We've been seeing a lot of this lately because we are going through an up-leveling on the planet. And so our human species is up-leveling as a collective. So you are, if you're highly sensitive, you'll feel that collective energy clearing that needs to be done, that's being done in and through you. So here's the, the thing, is that we are multidimensional, right? And so even as our individual self, we don't end here, right? We continue on. And even as we continue on, we don't end there. Like we talk about your auric field. We don't end at the end of the auric field. It always continues on. And hmm, I was talking to my fiance about this the other day. Even um, we we're talking about dimensions and how uh, you know, if you're on a flat surface like the Flatlanders, if you've ever seen that um, description of dimensions, if you're on a flat two-dimensional space, let me pull this piece of paper up, right? And you live on this two-dimensional space like an ant, beep, 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 beep. and you think, I've got all these issues, and they're all stacking up. And you see them stacking up like this in front of you, like boom, 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 boom. I'm making this three-dimensional, so flat, there we go, one dimension. I mean, that's not one dimension, it's two. Here we go, this way, right? <laughs> Stay with me, <laughs> I've got a point. So the ants on here, right, they see things stacking up and they think, there's no other way, there's no other way, they're just, they're here, right? This is stacking up in my individual experience, da 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 and you've got to process them here, and they think, I'm all out of space to process, this is all I can process, because that's all they can see. But we, as a three-dimensional person, are looking at them and we're going, wait, you can stack up this way. You can go this direction. And there's a lot that stacks up here, but we only see that from our three-dimensional perspective. They don't see that because they're ants in a two-dimensional space. 
they're only seeing this way, right? And that horizontal plane. And the same is true of higher dimensional beings. When we think, oh, this is all I can possibly process as an individual, right? We've got our three-dimensional space. We've got the stuff stacked here. We've got the stuff stack, stacked here. And we're like, I'm all out of space. I'm processing so much as an individual. And yet, those from the higher dimensional realms look down at us and they're like, but what about all these other dimensions? You've got all this other stuff to process from here and here and here and then, yeah. Because they can see from those multidimensional perspectives. So this is what's happening on a collective level when we talk about collective processing. We are a multidimensional being and so there will always be our individual aspects of life that stack up in our realms of awareness. And we will have to process and clear these. But there are also multi-dimensional aspects of our spirit that is larger than our three-dimensional form that still has access and interaction with the collective energies that are created um, from the human species, from our gender that we um, align with from our historical background or our bloodlines, from any trauma we've come in contact with, from the people in our lives. We are creating these multidimensional interactions in the non-physical that also play out in the way that we clear for the collectives that we are a part of. Now I mentioned humanity as a species, um, race. There's a lot of collectives that we are a part of and that we join into when we take a human form. And when our spirit comes into that form, it helps clear for those collectives. It helps ascend those collectives in which it's chosen to be a part of in this human experience. It's the family bloodline that we chose when we came in and incarnated. Again, it's the racial, um, I guess, gene that we take on. Uh, there, there's a lot of collectives that we come into, some people say programming, right? In the way that our genes and our genome sequence and those that are active in our DNA uh, versus our latent DNA, depending on the way you want to language this, there is a lot that we come into and we take on and we ascend through. We bring our own light body, our soul, which has light. In essence, it is an energy that emanates or vibrates in that frequency and emanates out in light, right? And as that's happening, we ascend through the denser bodies or the denser forms. And so we are bringing an up-leveling through all the collective that we are a part of by incarnating in this body. So that's always happening, whether you're conscious of it or not. Now the tricky part to your question is, once you are awakened, you're awake. <laughs> wakey wakey, okay? And once you know, you can't unknow some of this knowledge. And so a lot of people are asleep to it, their collective processing is kind of happening, but it's kind of not. Maybe they're doing a little work because they got some issues in relationships, so they're like, I gotta do some work here. They got some issues in their work uh, with with finances or safety, security, money, these, these lower chakra issues. So they gotta do some work. And they're doing the emotional, mental, spiritual work, but they're, they're not super awakened to all that's going on. Then there are others, and there's no judgment here, and there's no timeline. It's not like you have to get it all straight in this life. Nope, nope. It'll come to you when you're ready. No pressure, no judgment. However, if you have become awakened and you are aware of collective processing that you're doing and you're doing the work intentionally and working on manifesting and being a conscious creator of your experience of the life and the story that you embody. If this is you, then you are going to need to be aware of the levels in which you're uh, clearing. You will clear for your individual entity which is the persona you took on, the personality that you take on, other that oscillates, and we can have multiple lifetimes in one body. Meaning, you can, and if that's you, this, that's me. Like, I've lived multiple lifetimes in this lifetime. <laughs> I've been so many different people in this life because 
keep clearing that karma, I keep clearing that and clearing those things and and I'm always like I'm wanting to do it. I'm wanting to do the work. I'm like, coach put me in. I've just always had that kind of personality and I'm a doer and I'm like move like a locomotive until spirit says, Hey, it's water time. Bring that elemental in. It's time to float like some air. It's time to <laughs> let the water come in. So things can shift, but essentially with this awareness, you're going to be aware that your individual entity, who you are in this life, is going to be clearing the things that are connected with that individual. And the way to tell the difference is because a lot of that is linked to your individual person in this life. Your um, issues that and, and choices and things that you have determined for yourself, right? I made that choice and therefore I need to clear that. Um, I made decisions that you've made, binary choices between A and B that you said, I'm going in route A and I'm not taking route B. And then these are the things that came from it. Not necessarily negative experiences, but they all have effects, cause and effect. There's dominoes that begin to be created from those choices. This is just the way that a linear life or an experience on earth with um, polarity and linearity and dualism is expressed or experienced, right? And so when that happens, you're going to be clearing the individual issues, okay, from your personal choices. Those are the individuals. The things that don't feel like you had a choice in the matter, it felt like destiny or I, I was born to this family, I was, I came into this race, I was born into this gender assignment, I was born, whatever, whatever it may be. For you, those things must also, if you are aware and awakened, uh, must be transmuted or they must be brought into the light through the ascension journey if they are dense and dark and they need clearing also. And oftentimes light workers or star seeds are those that have a sense of purpose beyond um, coming from this earth and originating from this earth, come in and they choose a lot of those collective patterning or programs that start them off needing some clearing, needing some of that collective healing, clearing, density in the family line or ancestry or um, not wanting that gender that they were assigned to. They're needing that clearing, needing that transmuting, needing to ascend through the form or ascend through um, those collectives quickly. And they'll tell you right away, man, not feeling superhuman, not, not, aligning much with this human experience. I'm needing to transcend, transform, ascend, ascend. And that experience and identifying the separation of what is my individual energy that I am transmuting and clearing and the collectives are things that feel like you have been born into or you are a part of. Some of these we can, after a while of conscious creating and manifesting, choose. This is part of the ascension journey is that we realize, actually, I have free will in this matter also. This is where we're seeing, seeing a lot of choice in uh, where people feel like they align, that they align more energetically than they do physically. So we're transcending the 3D or the form-based material components of a lot of these collective issues, transforming my uh, race. Uh, and, and going beyond that and feeling like I transcend the identities that were given to me or the structures or the form that was given and that I came into. So this is a beautiful process of ascension, but essentially that's how you tell the difference between those types of individual choices that I made, directions that came from me and I made this choice and this is what came from it, or collectives that you feel like you didn't make a direct choice that you were a part of and are now clearing that. So it's personal clearing versus collective. Now the tricky part of it is it's done the same way, meaning even collective energy or issue or trauma that you're clearing for collectives is going to process through your individual experience. Right, it's gonna process through your own soul. This is, you are the blender. <laughs> 
And I say blender because it is actually a toroidal field. If you're familiar with that term or you know in terms of physics, a toroidal field, right, or like a black hole works in the same way. They're recyclers of energy. And so the way that it transmutes is it works through your form and to bring it into the other side and then it feeds back in pure and clear and clean. Like as if you were getting... Um, what is that called when you go in and you get new blood put in? Transfusion. Um, it's just the same, but it works like a blender. So it feeds out through the body. So you will have to clean and purge and clear and, and do all of the clearing through the form. But as it comes out through the top funnel of your um, higher level crown chakra, essentially it is purified into that light energy and that light at that level is able to feed back through into the root. And you create your own pure toroidal field and it goes out higher and higher as you go into the higher level chakra system that is not just housed in the physical body but housed in the spiritual body or your auric field, right? When it's larger than your physical form. Um, so the process of clearing it will feel the same. You'll be like, man, I thought I dealt with this. Man, I gotta deal with this. Now I'm dealing with this. And now I'm getting all the symptoms and the headaches. And man, I'm, I can feel that I need the purging. I can feel that I need the clearing. I'm feeling the tension. You're gonna go through all the physical components because it is processed through the individual. However, you'll have that conscious layering to it that instead of taking it on as a sense of um, personal drama, it will feel like a diffused energy, like diffused light, like mist, okay, for those of you that are highly clairsentient. That's how it, it begins to process. So it's not as clogged and dense as it is when it comes through the body. It's already a little bit pureed <laughs> from using the blender analogy, right? And so it's coming in as that diffused energy that just needs clearing. And the clearing, again, comes up through the funnel of the body, typically through the root, all the way through the chakra system, out the crown, and therefore being transmuted out into light in the highest form of energy to feed now only light. It feeds the collective also, so it's going to go beyond your field into the collectives in which you're a part of and feed into that energy system as well. I hope that answers your question. Great question. Uh, I will be back here. Mwah! next week with another video. Bye, you guys.